Hi guys and girls, welcome back to Watch The Time. So today I've got in a Citizen watch. I'm calling this a Citizen Emerald. As you'll probably know, Citizen's a brand I've got huge respect for. I've got to say, I do have huge respect for them as a brand. But as, as from, from a, a man's perspective with their watches, none of them really appeal to me. Or if they do, they, they, the, the longevity of that appeal doesn't stay. Uh, I've had a few, ended up selling all of them. Uh, my wife, I've bought her multiple Citizen watches and she loves them and actually I really like them on her. So ladies watches, they seem to be much stronger propositions than men's. But I've got this in, it uh, looks really cool, nice green dial, gold PVD coating, um, nice brown leather strap. It does just look like a bit of a retro throwback style watch. Uh, so I saw it on, on Amazon, thought, you know what, I'm going to pull the trigger, I'm going to get that in. Uh, whether I keep it or not, we'll see but to be honest with you i wanted to have a look at it because I, I, I would love to have a citizen in my collection there was one that jody put up from my just one more watch it was a gmt watch that they put out with a rotating bezel and stuff that looks pretty cool trying to find it in the uk not not easy it's a bit like hen's teeth that watch so we'll, we'll see what happens i'll try and i'll try and nab one in soon if i can but this watch is one to definitely look at guys like i said 140 pound it is only mineral crystal, but everything else, you get an eco drive in there. Citizen, don't mess about when it comes to their solar movement. Uh, I don't think anything really touches it for, for, for the way it works and the longevity of it and stuff. But guys, let me know what you think in the comment section at, at the end. Um, do enjoy the video. And without further ado, let's get the camera turned around and get on with it. Hi guys, so this is the watch. As I said in the intro, it's a, it's a Citizen eco drive. As you'll know if you've watched my channel before, um, I've never kept a Citizen watch, it just doesn't, they don't seem to stick with me, to be quite honest. But um, yeah, I, try, I thought I'd get this one, and I really like the look of it, to be honest. So we had it on now for a few days, so I thought I'd get the video done, it just comes with a bit of polystyrene inside the outer box. And then you open it up, I've never had a box like this actually with Citizen, they normally come pretty generic, in terms of the packaging they have. Um, but then yeah, they've got the pillow, got another bit of... Uh, film that goes on the watch let's get this stuff put to the side as well um, but like I said I saw this come up on Amazon had a good it was a good price and you when you see it you'll probably be able to understand why I wanted to try and get it in uh, it has the model number on here also as you'll be able to see BM 7483 15x looks like it's running a caliber e treble one That'll probably be the movement, the eco drive movement that's inside it. But so let's get all the plastic out of the way. And this is the reason you're watching the video. I think we can all agree the dial looks very, very nice. Um, over time, I've started to realize that actually I'm a bit of a sucker for a green dial <laughs> on a watch. It seems to be probably my preferred color in terms of the dial and stuff. But again, the model number is BM7483 15X. Uh, inside, it's running the uh, Citizen's pr pr proprietary solar mo uh, solar movement. It's an eco drive movement, very reliable. Um, if you've seen one of the back of these watches, you've seen all of them. They're quite generic in terms of just outlining uh, the information and stuff. Uh, the, the case material, crown case back, pin buckle clasp and fixed bezel, all 316L stainless steel. Uh, obviously, the back is bona fide stainless steel. The other surfaces are are stainless steel, but they've got a, uh, a gold PVD coating, like a rose gold sort of color. The case thickness of this watch is 10.8 millimeters. The diameter, going from the eight to the two, is 42.8 millimeters. And when you go from the nine to the three, including the crown, it does become 46.2 millimeters. The lug width, is 22 millimeters and the lug to lug tip to tip is 49.2 millimeters the case back style is screwed down and like, as i said a moment ago like i said if you've seen one of these you've seen all of them they're very very similar uh, obviously they probably have little bits of information that's slightly different denoting the movements water resistance and so on but they tend to be pretty standard what you get on the back of their watches the bezel type is pretty cool actually uh, i wouldn't exactly call it fluted but it's definitely a textured sort of bezel. Adding again, I think it looks like quite a retro 
type of watch to be honest so I think that's also paying homage to that the crown is a fixed excuse me is a, is a push pull crown and it is sterile unfortunately they've not put any signage on their crown the strap material is leather um, as you can see it does say that it's genuine leather Got no reason to disprove that quite thick uh, feels okay a little bit stiff if I if I had a criticism but um, and obviously there's just denoting what I said the 22 mil lug width the clasp is a pin buckle clasp and again it's sort of like a rose gold color it's signed with citizen on it uh, just in keeping with the case color also the crystal covering that dial is a mineral crystal and it is domed I think it's a single dome that's what gives the distortion on the dial but yeah it looks pretty cool the water resistance of this watch is 50 meters so that would give you five atmospheres of water resistance so I wouldn't go swim with this but day to day in terms of 50 meters you shouldn't have any problem being able to use this watch in sort of rain and stuff so on and so forth the weight of this watch will appear in the top right hand corner it's in and around 62 grams so not too much heft given the fact it's quite a big watch uh, which is pretty cool but let's have a look at the dial in a bit more detail so what you have uh, you've got a minute track going around the outer edge uh, from from the 12 all the way through each they, they go from they every they go every other mark in, in increments of two it does count up so the minute track is just inside that, that countdown or count up whichever you like to do uh, just just making it easier to be able to tell the time inside the minute track you've got arabics obviously one two three up to 12 just below the arabics at the 12 you've got a citizen just written onto the dial and just above the arabics at the six you've got eco drive just outlining the fact of what i said about it being a eco drive movement as you can see one positive the second hand hits the markers which for me although this is an eco drive movement it it runs just the same as a quartz there's no sweep it's a ticking motion and it's nice to see that they hit every indices which is which is fantastic you got the date window at the three o'clock there's no day date it's just a date and obviously as you can see i've recorded this on, on the second uh, i do like the fact that the hands the hands are also like a rose gold color again sort of tying in with, with the case and stuff and i do think the rose gold with the green of the dial and the brown strap it all just comes together very nicely i think it's a good color combination to be honest but like like it's a given the fact it's a it's a, it's a quartz movement you take it out it will, it will stop you put it back in it will start take it out to the first position and you can scroll through the date um and yeah scroll through to whatever date you want put it back in obviously you can't hand wind it given the fact it's not a automatic or mechanical movement it is a quartz movement for all intents and purposes although it does run off solar um and as i say you've got a nice green sunburst dial I like the colour of the green to be honest and like I said I just think it all ties in very nicely. I like the fact it's got a, a red tip to the second hand which also there's a marker at the, six, at the 12 o'clock position also is red. Again just sort of tying in the colours and just making it a bit more consistent. But um, yeah so that's the dial guys but just give me a second I'll pop it on my wrist let you know what it looks like on my wrist. My wrist is a 7 inch wrist for your reference and I'll show you how it fits on my wrist where it fits. So there's two more holes going the other way so it'd probably fit sort of down to six and a half inch wrist all the way up into sort of nine so it gives you sort of a two and a half inch scope for the sort of wrist it will fit and that's what it looks like on my wrist um yeah like i said i do think this watch looks pretty cool uh not perfect but i do think it looks pretty cool and that would now take me on to what i think is pants and pucker about the watch if you've ever seen my channel you, you will know that i do start with pants i like to go on a high with pucker so what i think is pants yeah the case size i do that's that's going to be my biggest gripe i didn't realize uh, when i got this watch in just the sort of size of it and um, because it's the size is 40 was it's 40 it's basically 43 and 46.2 with the crown that's a big boy for me i know it's got a, it's got a fixed bezel which obviously takes up some of that diameter and size but for me, it's just a bit too big, to be honest. So the size is a problem. Uh, the leather strap, in terms of how stiff it feels, it is quite thick. It looks like they've had two bits sort of um, sewn together. It, it, it feels like it would last, but it doesn't feel 
sort of as supple as I would like really for my leather straps and just the strap fitment as well if you look at this there is a lot of play in there more more than I, I would normally have on one of my leather straps to be honest I was that's one of the first things I noticed I was like blimey there's a lot of play in there and it just moves around way too much so yeah just to summarize what I think is pants I'd go with a case size I'll go with the leather strap and also the strap fitment to the case in terms of what I think is pants what I think is pucker I'd go with a dial I think the dial is beautiful I, like I said a couple of times already I do like the green I think that's really nice I do like the hands I do like the fact that they've also rose gold to sort of tie in with the case I like the fact that the second hand lines up bang on pretty much one of the surprises of this watch as you'll see near the end is the loom the loom is actually pretty good on this watch I wasn't expecting it but yeah the loom is, is pretty bang on to be honest given the fact it's not a dive watch but they've definitely applied a fair bit of loom uh, I don't normally say this for mineral crystal but I quite like the dome crystal on this obviously I'll always prefer sapphire but I think because it's a sort of like a retro looking watch having sort of like a dome crystal was a very very good idea very good shout by citizen and the crown I do like the crown I think it's very very easy to purchase I think these are the sort of crowns oftentimes for me I would like on automatic watches given the fact that you do have to wind them and you do engage with the watch a lot more of automatic mechanical watches whatever than you would have a quartz piece so I do like the crown although obviously this is an automatic watch but I do like I've got an appreciation for the crown and I do like the fact that sort of like the indentations match very nicely with the with the bezel so I think that's again a lot of consistency in terms of the design so just to summarize what I think is pucker I'd go with a dial I'd go with the hands I'd go with the second hand alignment I'd go with the loom the dome crystal and the crown in terms of what I think is pucker and now that would take me on to would I recommend this watch and I definitely would um, I think you'd probably want to have a slightly larger wrist than myself or just like larger watches because it's not small but there's a lot to like about this watch in terms of the color and everything else I think this is quite a beautiful watch to be quite honest um, and if it was slightly smaller say two or three mil smaller I, I, I've got to say I probably would keep it if I'm honest and obviously that that would then obviously dictate the fact I probably won't keep this guys to be honest, a bit too big for me but it's definitely a stunning little watch or big watch should I say <laughs> so guys let me know what you think about this watch maybe any other watches you'd like to see on the channel and as always say don't forget to like and subscribe and always watch the time take care guys all the very best